Well, Florida's Attorney General Ashley Moody, along with attorneys general from several other states, have uh, challenged a new policy from the Biden administration. They're challenging a federal regulation that seeks to protect the rights of transgender students in the nation's schools, colleges, and universities. The new regulations would expand protections for students against sexual harassment and violence and would nullify state laws restricting access to bathrooms. The officials challenging the rules argue the new policies would hurt women and girls, trample free speech rights, and create burdens on the states. The proposed rule would take effect August 1st. The proposed regulation does not specifically address sports participation by transgender students. And Sharon, who's right on this? Is the Biden administration right or is our attorney general right? Well, we shall find out. But this rule, the Biden rule, is really turning Title IX upside down. And Biden changing the Title IX legislation through executive fiat is unconstitutional. And that is the reason why I think about a dozen states and the Defense of Freedom Institute and the Independent Women's Forum have already filed lawsuits against, against the rule that, you know, Biden believes with a stroke of his pen with no legislation, no consensus can be forced on the American people. The Supreme Court has already written that administrative agencies must be able to point to, quote, clear congressional authorization when they claim the power to make decisions of vast economic and political significance. So um, I do believe this will play out in the courts, and I do believe it will be turned over. Uh, Tara, one of the effects of this is that if somebody uh, is, a, for instance, a transgender woman, she's 15, uh, uh, she's going to go to the uh, bathroom that uh, re represents her sex. But what states, some states have done, have said, look, we, we want these people to go into the bathroom of their birth uh, or their assigned uh, sex at birth. What do you make of this? Well, first off, how are we going to enforce that? Let's not even get to the constitutional issue, which, which we need to. There's no way to really enforce that, and it really strips the dignity of, and the privacy of the individual using, utilizing the bathroom. But let's get to the constitutional piece, because this really isn't a Republican or a Democrat kind of, this is a constitutional question. We have a 14th Amendment that promises equal protection under the laws. And you know, there is no other way than for the president to move forward to try to protect all Americans, including trans Americans. And you know, there's all this rhetoric about woke can to Florida to die. Liberties came to Florida to die. The Constitution's getting a beating in the state of Florida. And, you know, this isn't really a partisan issue. It's that all Americans deserve to be treated with dignity and respect under the law. And I really think that what we're going to find is this is just going to be one more piece of litigation for the state of Florida to defend. It's already been reported in the last year, $16 million last year. Who knows how many more millions of dollars this year to defend these culture wars. And so it's not only stripping individual trans students of their dignity and their privacy, but it's also costing the state of Florida a lot of money to defend. Okay. Well, before you know, we, well, Sharon, in just 30 seconds. She, okay. It's interesting that she brought up the issue she did on the abortion issue because we have already, it's been reported numerous times of young women being assaulted in the bathroom. This, I'm going to interrupt right now. There's absolutely no evidence that trans individuals commit more crime. In and, fact, and they're victims of more crime. Happened. So when you're talking about the abortion issue in the fashion that you did, you need to also consider it on Title IX. I have to respond to this because there's ac ab absolutely, Sharon, no evidence to that trans individuals are pedophiles, that they engage in any kind of sexual violence. In fact, they are the victims of sexual violence. And then yes, and I, I really have to just... I, the Virginia I, school board got, got uh, uh, filed a lawsuit and a guy got charged, a juvenile got charged. No, excuse me. Yes, it has happened. Oh, and by the way, the, 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 hypo the sheer hypocrisy that the, that the same Jersey, the same policy that wants to protect me against, for a woman in the bathroom strips me of my dignity of, of health care. Sure, yeah. sure, go ahead. In New Jersey, they had to remove a male transgender or a woman transgender prisoner from the women's prison because he impregnated two women prisoners. Okay, but that's, that's not a school. Let, let me ask you, Teresa, how common is it for people who've undergone a sex change to commit in high school or college to commit a crime in a bathroom. I don't. I. I don't think that it's. Uh, I don't think that that happens. I do know that 
um, LGBTQ plus kids are four times more likely to commit suicide. So that is the real life implication of these conversations and the out, outright trans and homophobia. Um, these are real kids' lives um, and I have three young um, nieces that I would love to, um, to, for them to be able to fully live in their identity and show up in school how, how they feel um, and not be kind of victim to these culture wars and pay for it by my tax dollars. That is the kicker. Um, so. And Rob, Rob, you mentioned it was sex change, but it's not sex change, it's sex identity. So it could be somebody, they haven't gone through the puberty blockers, they haven't gone through um, a sex change operation. They just decided they're going to identify as a different they sex than the their bio. They have the liberty interest to do so. The same constitution that you love, that I love, that our America loves, allows for the liberty interest to present the way. There's nothing against not the law against for that. Children to be assaulted in the bathroom. That is a red herring, and I refuse to allow it that misinformation. Not a red okay. You need to, oh, no, it's not. There's all evidence. Right. All right. Well, uh, we don't have the evidence here, but but thank you all for a scintillating discussion.